Welcome back to my Roblox beginner scripting tutorial series. My name is Brawl Battle, and in this episode, we'll be discussing about variables. Another very crucial step to becoming a better Roblox scripter is to know how to utilize variables, what they are, and how this will help you in the long run. So if we go back to our script here that we've been working on for the past few episodes is that we wrote down a bunch of print statements that shows different values of what we wanted to print. So let's actually get out of this script because uh, there's actually a lot of stuff going on here and I don't want to keep adding on to the script. So what we're going to do is we're going to X out of the script right here so that we're back inside of the regular game. And on the right side, we'll, we're going to rename our script to something. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our script, right click on it, and then down here, it says rename. We're gonna click that, and then we're gonna rename the script to, I don't know, uh, printing values. That's what we're gonna call this. We're just gonna call this printing values. It doesn't really matter what you call it, but that's just what I'm gonna call it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new script by going on, highlighting workspace, and then click on the plus sign, and then we're going to search up script, and then we're gonna insert another one here. So this one, we're gonna rename to uh, variables. That's what we're going to call the script. Okay, so we have our print statement here. Let's just get rid of this really quickly. And so now, now I'm going to describe what variables are. So like I mentioned earlier, variables are, are basically like a reference to another value. And you can use that reference to modify it however you so desire to. So, so how it works is that you basically put in an, a name here like um i don't know my variable right here and then and then like we set this equal to a value like so like this now i know i'm going pretty fast with this i i imagine this already looks very confusing to you like why the heck did i put an equal sign here why like this here doesn't fall into any sort of data type because there's no quotations there's no numbers and there's no boolean so why am i allowed to do this but i'm not allowed to do it in any other circumstances and i will explain to you why you're allowed to do this so what we have going on here is that we have a name here, my variable. We can call this variable whatever the heck we want it to because variables only benefit us as the developer uh, when we work with our script. So it really doesn't matter what we call it. We can call this whatever we want. We can call this my variable. We can call this the big number six, or we can call this, um, my brawl battle number is incredibly based or something like that. Like we can call this whatever we want. Now there is something I'm already violating here and that's the naming convention for variable names. So ideally when you're creating a variable, you want to follow a, a specific kind of naming convention that is not required but this is personally what i do to distinguish variables from other things and it just makes my code very organized what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to quickly delete all this again just to <clears throat> just to start from scratch so if you're naming a variable uh and it has multiple words in it like let's say my big number six so instead of calling this my big number six we're instead going to have the first word be in lowercase. So in this case, we're gonna have my. It's very important to have the first letter be lowercase. And then what we're gonna do is, for all the, the words afterwards, we're gonna have it uppercased. So we're gonna say my uppercase B, big, and then number with an uppercase N, number, and then just the number six, I guess. So this is the standardized naming convention that I follow. You don't have to follow it, but I encourage you to follow it along with me because I think this is very helpful for a naming convention. So we're gonna call it my big number six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this a reference to, let's say the number six. How we're going to do this is that we're going to type out my big number six, and then we're going to hit space, and then we're gonna hit the equal sign. So, so what we're gonna do here is, we have the variable name, my big number six, space equals space. And then this is basically like a this is basically saying that we want this variable to reference whatever is on the right side here. And in this case, it's gonna be the number six. So what we have here is we have the variable name, you can name this whatever you want, and then we have the equal sign that will show us that we want this variable to equal whatever is on this side and it's going to be the number six that we put down. So 
how this is going to work now is that if we drop a few lines and then we do our good old print statement, normally we would print the number six. And then if we hit run, then it's just going to, you know, print the number six down here. Like that's, that's like pretty standard. It's just going to print the number six down here. So that, that's all, that, that's all good and all. But now what we can do is instead of explicitly calling six, we can type in my big number six. And as you can see, Roblox Studio has already um, has already suggested putting my big number six because this is the new variable that we just created for ourselves. So let's let's do that. And then um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our place and then we're going to hit run. And then let's see what happens here. So if we hit run, it's going to print the number six. What's very important here is that it didn't explicitly print out my big number six, but instead it printed what my big number six was referencing, which was the number six. So you might be asking like, how, like, like why do I need to know this? Why is this useful? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you why it's useful. It's because if we want to, if we, if we want to, let's say, modify a specific variable and we're going to change it later down the line in the course of like these like instructions that we wrote down for the script, we can modify it and then print the same variable, but this time it'll print a different number because the reference changed to something else. And here's what I'm talking about. So we're going to call out my big number six again, like so. But this time, we're going to set it equal to a different number. We're going to set this equal to, let's say, the number 20 this time. So then if we drop a line down here um, and then hit the print statement with my big number six. So it's the same exact thing here we're doing down here. But what's interesting now is if we go back to the game and hit play, it first prints six because originally my big number six was set equal to six and we printed it here. But this time we changed the variable to now say 20. It's gonna reference the number 20. It's just gonna completely ignore six. And this time it's going to set its new value to 20. And then we're gonna print the same exact thing, which is now going to be 20 instead of six. So when we get into more complicated programming concepts, variables is definitely one of the biggest things that you need to know as a, as a Roblox programmer, and it's gonna be very helpful later down the line. So that is essentially what a variable is. Oh, and of course, uh, if we like continue to go on this um, pattern, we can say my big number six. Now what's interesting about, uh, about Lua, uh, about Roblox programming is that uh, a variable can be tied into different types of data within the same variable. So what I mean by this is that we went from a number to another number, but what we can do from here is that we can actually change it to, let's say a Boolean value. So we're going to say that my big number six is now equal to true. So now if we drop a line down here and then print my big number six yet again, go back uh, to studio and then hit play, it changed the value yet again to my big number six to now true, which is a different data type. It's not a number, but this time it changed to a Boolean. So that's like one of the cool things about uh, about the programming language we use, which is Lua, is that no matter what variable you use, you can set it equal to whatever data type you want it to, and it won't affect the script or anything like that. So that's like the cool thing about, about variables. Now, that's like the concept of variables, which doesn't really seem that useful right now, but trust me when I say that in the next video, we're gonna start to put variables to practical use. And this is where in the scripting series, things start to get a little bit more interesting. So for this learning objective, what I want you to do is, I want you to create a variable. We can call this like whatever variable we want to, like my variable, and then set that equal to whatever whatever data type you, you can imagine. And then just keep printing that and then keep changing, keep updating the value by saying uh, the variable name, saying that equal to something new. That is going to be it for variables in my beginner scripting tutorial series. Uh, I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next one. Take care.